Matt Williams, 0 for 15 in the series. Brenly sticking with him, feeling he was about to break out of it. Ball one up and away. Veers, last year saved 29, his career high 31 two seasons ago in Colorado. But now it's more of a bullpen by committee, closer by committee for Tony LaRusso. Williams leading off in the ninth. Veers being careful, it's 2 0. Two home runs for Matt Williams in his career against this right-hander. The former closer against the Diamondbacks' former cleanup hitter. Both have been deposed in the count two and one. Beers hurt his right hamstring the first week of September. Tried to get back in shape. Second appearance of this division series. 2-1 pitch. 3-1. Williams will get a good pitch to hit on this count. If he doesn't, he takes it. field well hit down into the corner it is one hop up against the wall and a leadoff double his first hit of the series <laughs> Damian Miller perfect bunt winning run at third one out Expertly done by Miller. And they'll pitch to Womack with the infield in. On the outside corner, strike one. Possibility of a squeeze. Womack, the best bunner on either side. The best. The ticket to the National League Championship Series, 90 feet away for the Diamondbacks. One ball, one strike on Womack with Craig Council, already a hero from game three on deck. The 1-1 one -one squeeze play and he missed it. Cummings tagged out for the second out of the inning. Bob Brenly put the squeeze play on and it failed. The best bunter on either club. The slider low and away and Cummings is out to dry. Now the outfield goes back to their normal position, as do the infielders. You've got to make contact. You've got to at least foul it off. Womack didn't either. Now Batista will come in and run as we get another look. Matheny with a good pickup on the short hop. A Gold Glove award-winning catcher. Went down, made the tag, and now Bautista will run for Colburn, who was bothered by a bad knee for the first half of the season. Kurt Schilling has been taken out of this game, watching from the bench. Pitching to Womack. Bob Brindley knew and knows that Womack does not have a lot of power to drive the run in, particularly against Klein. 
The reason he put the squeeze on was obviously to end the game. But if it didn't work, then Colburn would go down to second base. So he still has Batista in scoring position. Going to be tougher to score, however. And the count's one and two, remember, as Womack spoils the pitch to stay up there. So it's Batista now carrying that ticket to the NLCS. He's at second with two out. And it's Womack who drove home 30 runs during the regular season. The shortstop who has no RBIs in this division series trying to bring him home after missing the squeeze bunt. Winning run at second. Game five. Two out. Ninth inning. Tied at one. Matheny out to save it. Two and two. Now, when you're pitching to Womack with runners on at first and third, all, all the Diamondbacks need one run. It may have been in Steve Klein's plan. Don't throw him a strike in case he tries to squeeze. First pitch was a slider on the plate. That one at which he bunted was way outside. That's out of play. The Cardinals, by the way, after all of these moves, still have their pitcher in the number nine spot. And if this game goes to the 10th, that would be Klein set to lead it off. Winning run at second, two out, and the 2-2 pitch to Womack. Little floater, left field. Here comes Batista. Here's the throw. Diamondbacks going to the NLCS. 